who is Michael the Archangel? We get that a lot. Uh, some people are really shocked when they hear me say that I believe that Michael the Archangel is Christ. I do not believe that Jesus is an angel. I think people misunderstand what it means in the Bible when it says Michael the Archangel. First of all, the very title, and sometimes people think, well, there's Michael the Archangel and there's Raphael. There's nowhere in the Bible you don't find the word Raphael. That's an invention of tradition. Michael is mentioned many times. He's always spoken of as the Archangel. The name Michael in the Bible means who is as God. The word I arch means the chief or the highest. An angel means messenger. So the very name Michael the Archangel means the chief messenger who is as God. Uh, he appears in Daniel, in Revelation, mostly in the Old Testament. Sometimes it's the angel of the Lord. By the way, this is not the teaching of any particular denomination. Many of the great Protestant Bible scholars like Matthew Henry believe Michael is an Old Testament Christophany of Jesus. Is it Christophany? It's when God appears in the Old Testament, Jesus appeared often as the angel of the Lord, or Michael the archangel. And um, just some quick examples of that you would find. You read there in Thessalonians, it says, the Lord himself, uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel. The Lord has the voice of the archangel. You read in Revelation chapter 12, there's a war in heaven between Michael and the dragon. Now, the dragon is clearly a symbolic name for the devil. It says in that same chapter, that old serpent, the devil and Satan, he's called a dragon. Michael is a symbolic name for the prince of of princes, which is Christ. Jesus and his angels fought against the dragon, the devil, and his angels. Uh, you can read in the book of Jude where it says, Michael comes to resurrect Moses, Jude verse 9. And so who is the resurrection and the life? It's Jesus. You read in Daniel chapter 12, it tells us at the very end, Michael will stand up the great prince that stands for the children of thy people. Who is the one who stands as our intercessor, as our advocate? That's Christ. And it says, when he stands, that means judgment has ceased. There's a great time of trouble such as there never has been. That power is not in an angel's hand. You look in the story where Moses says, the angel of the Lord appeared to Moses in a burning bush, calls him the angel of the Lord. And then it says, he identifies himself as God and says, take your shoes off of your feet. You also read where the angel of the Lord appeared to Joshua as the captain of God's army. Same way he appears there in Revelation. He tells Joshua to take your shoes off your feet, and he worships. We are not supposed to worship angels. It tells you that in Revelation chapter 19. John bows down to worship an angel. He says, do not do it. Only worship God. I'm of your fellow servants. So the fact that this angel, Michael, receives worship, and the command says you're to worship God only, tells us it is simply, Michael the archangel is simply an Old Testament name. Now it appears a couple of times in the New Testament. Uh, of how Christ appeared to his people prior to his incarnation. He is the greatest messenger who came as the angel of the Lord. When he appears to the parents of uh, Samson, it says the angel of the Lord, they asked about his name. He says, why do you ask about my name? For it is wonderful. Well, what does the Bible say about Christ? His name is to be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God. The angel of the Lord appears to Hagar. And then later we discover that it's God spoke to Hagar. Uh, Jacob wrestles with the angel of the Lord. And Jacob says, I have seen God. So Michael the archangel is one of the titles of Christ as he appears, principally in the Old Testament. And no, he does not have feathers and a wing. He is Jesus, the son of God. He is the eternal, uh, omn omniscient, omnipresent God. The, the word angel just means the greatest messenger with the greatest message. It, you read, oh, one more thought, is in um, Daniel chapter 10. It talks about him as one of the chief messengers. They said, well, he's only one of the angels. The word one of there is echad. And that word echad means principal, like we would call the president's wife the first lady. And that means, does mean she's the first one sequentially, or that she's, uh, you know, in numerical order, it's talking about a position of the highest. So when it talks about Daniel, or it talks about Michael in the book of Daniel chapter 10 being one of, it means chief 
of, first of. Now, there's a lot more about the subject I can share, and I've got several of the verses in Daniel I also talk about. Simply ask for our book, Who is Michael the Archangel? We go through a number of the verses I shared and many others in this book. You can download it for free at the Amazing Facts website, or you can probably call and order your own personal copy. God bless until we study together again. If you've got questions on this question or comments, I'll try to interact a little bit with them on my Facebook page.